welcome back to my channel. Today I have recreated my perfect and favourite look to wear in the summer, which is like a bronzy, glowy look. Only when it's actually sunny though. The main palette I used to recreate this look, okay, it's covered now in like powder and eyelash glue from <laughs> filming the video, but the palette I've mainly used for this tutorial is the um, Stars In Your Eyes palette by Charlotte Tilbury, which I literally love. Obviously, as you probably guessed, I use the Power Eyes section, which is these three here. And that's basically the only thing I use on my eyes, so it's a really easy and simple look to create. But I think it looks so nice. But that's what I like about it, because it's kind of like an effortless, kind of summer, warm, bronzy glow. It doesn't, I think, look like I've spent ages on my makeup. Maybe it does, I don't know. It's really easy to create, so... I really hope you like the look, and I hope you enjoy the tutorial. If you want to know how to recreate this look, then just keep on watching. Going in, first of all, with my Trusted Foundation, and this is NARS in the shade Mont Blanc. And as always, I'm going to use my Flat Kabuki brush by Sigma, and this is the F80. As always, sitting down with my tea and doing my makeup makes me so happy. <laughs> It's like a bit pathetic really, but I do like to sit down and do my makeup with a cup of tea. Unless I'm getting ready to go out in the evening, in which case I'll switch the tea for something a little stronger. So, using a fair bit of the foundation because, and this is actually why I love this foundation, because it's so light and like luminous on the skin, so building it never actually looks cakey. So I like to build it when I want a bit more coverage. And I'm putting this all over my face, but not on or around my eyes because I'm going to use my concealer for that area and I don't feel the need to apply foundation as well. Next I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And I don't know if you recall like an earlier video when I said by accident I bought two. One was in my right shade and two were in a slightly darker shade, which is a bit annoying, but it's not too dark. Anyway, so I'm going to use the slightly darker one just because I'm going for a full bronzed up look. So it's not dark, it's just dark on me. And it's the shade Light Neutral. So I'm going to put this all around my eyes and on my forehead, the bridge of my nose and my chin and also around my nose. <sighs> I'm basically applying it to areas that I just want extra coverage and also want to be a bit lighter. So I'm just going to do three dots under my eye, a few on my nose around my nose, my chin, and on my forehead. And I definitely want more coverage in this forehead area because when you use your expressions, it just tends to like get rid of your foundation. And I'm gonna blend this out with my beauty sponge. This is the beauty sponge that I'm loving at the moment. It's by Morphe and it's because it's got this straight line and I'll show you why I love that straight line later. But first of all, I'm just gonna damp my sponge. I tend to put it in water, but then like wipe it off and then like just dab it on my hand a bit so that it's not too wet, it is like just damp. And then also remember, don't drink out of that glass later. I always have like a glass of water next to me and I'm like, which one did I use for my sponge? And then I'm just lightly blending this in, just by tapping lightly all over my face. I always get these hairs on my forehead, it's so annoying. I'm excited to do this fully bronzed look because it's just in time for summer, although so far June has been a bit rainy in London, but I love a good bronzy bronze for the summer. It's just a go-to eye look. Like, I love using bright colours on my eyes as well. Not necessarily, like, super bright, but just, like, other tones. But in the summer, I do love a good bronzy eye. And, like, when the sun just reflects as well. Like, if you've got a bronzed eye and sun setting, it just is, like... It's like the sun is setting on your face. It just looks pretty down and magical. So next I'm going to go in and set that and I'm going to use my Sigma F35 which is a tapered highlighter brush but I like to use it for my powder. And I'm going to use my oh, Shock Loose Setting Translucent Powder by Laura Mercier. I'm also excited to film this video because, I, because I've been doing a few looks recently using the 
Huda Beauty New Nude Palette. I have just been focusing on the eyes, so I'm really excited to film a full face tutorial because I haven't actually in ages. Mm -hmm. Slightly dusting over the rest of my face once I've set the key areas as well, just to mattify it slightly. I tend to like to use a slightly lighter um, concealer on my eyelids just because if I'm going to go in and layer loads of eyeshadows um, and like shimmers and things after I don't feel the need to go in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer which I find a bit thicker. So I'm going to use my NARS concealer and this is in the shade Vanilla or Light 2 obviously. And then again just using my sponge to blend it out or blend it in. Is it in or out? And then I'm just going to set that as well with the powder. Mainly just so that when I go in with my shimmers, my eyelid already has a powdery finish. So it'll just be easier to blend them out. Not, not necessarily shimmers, sorry, just shadows. I think I'm going to like basically do my whole face first. Just because I want to see like how the bronziness looks. And then I'm going to come and do the eyes and make sure like it all matches and stuff. But it is more of like a bronzy, facey type of glowy look. So... That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to use my Hula... <laughs> I just forgot how to speak for a sec then. I'm going to use my my bronzer, my Benefit bronzer, and this is their Hula bronzer. And I'm just going to use a random fluffy brush. I've had this one for years. And I watched a video by Ash Colm in the week, and I've changed a bit the way that I'm contouring. So I used to go from, like, my tragus along, but she said start from the top of your ear because it will give your face more of a lifted look. So I've been doing that and I feel like it has lifted my face a bit. So, thanks Ash. I feel like, to be fair, that is way more in line with, like, actually the bone structure of my face. Because like, obviously my cheekbone doesn't start at my tragus. And I'm going to bring the bronzer slightly closer to the mouth than I normally would. Because... It's just going to look more like bronzy. Not like have it super dark by my lips, but just like bring it more to like here, whereas I think normally I'd stop with my bronzer around like there. So it's literally just like a centimetre more. I feel like it's going to make all the difference. So just rubbing it in. And then obviously going underneath the jawline as well to create that mm. dramatic jawline. <sighs> that, um like might look a bit sharp now but I'm going to come back and highlight and put some blusher on and then like clean up the section under there a bit so it won't look so much like a line shortly. And um, because my forehead is a bit bigger than other people's I also so I do the top in the hairline but then I also come down a tiny bit in the hairline on the sides just because it will help make the whole forehead look a tiny bit smaller and not that I'm like super like oh I hate my forehead well I wouldn't mind if it was a tiny bit smaller but um I mean that's what makeup's for isn't it just like making small improvements even if people say it's not it is next I'm going to go back in with my powder and I'm just going to clean up this area underneath here and then let it sit for basically like the rest of the tutorial. The longer it can sit on your face, the better really. So just going in with the straight edge now. So now to draw this line, I'm starting at the tragus. And later when I wipe this powder away, I'm going to make sure that that line isn't a harsh line so you can't see it. But you will see a cleaned up jaw. I'm just going to do a tiny bit on the sides of my nose as well, just because it can just make you look a little bit more put together. Make the nose look a tiny bit. So now in straighter. But I always poke myself in the eye when I do this with the sponge. Okay, so I'm going to let that sit basically for the rest of time that I'm doing my makeup. So now I'm going to get onto my eyes and I'm really excited because I'm going to use a palette that I haven't used in ages. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Stars in Your Eyes palette but I think before I do anything I'm actually going to put a tiny bit of bronzer just in the crease of my eye um, and I'm going to use the 
JH30 and this is just gonna make your eyes look really in line with like the shades of your face and just add like dimension and make them a bit bronzy. So it is nice to use the exact same um, bronzer that you use on your face. So being really light, light handed with it and just applying it kind of in that crease section and bringing it out quite far as well. And make sure it's all over the eye, so also in this inner part. I'm really, really slowly building the colour by the way, I'm not like... I do want it a bit darker, but it doesn't mean that I'm just going to go in with a huge amount on my brush first of all because that's going to be really hard to blend out. So I'm going in with a really small amount each time and you just have to patiently, slowly, slowly build up the colour. Being really light handed with your touch so that you don't like put the shade down all in one place. I don't want it too, too dark. So I think I'm getting to about the the bronziness that I want. So I'm not going to apply any more now, I'm just going to make sure that it's fully, fully blended out. You know, I'm actually going to keep this eye look really simple. I'm not going to use loads and loads of colours because I always think with um, makeup and eyeshadow that it's in the way you apply it and the way that you clean up later. I think that always looks so, so nice. And you don't need to apply like 10 colours, I think actually like, you know, almost a few are the better, but it's just about like using them really delicately because I think that's when it looks really, really nice. I'm going to use the Power Eyes section from the Charlotte Tilbury um, palette. I'm going to start first of all with probably the lightest one and I'm going to use my fingers because I always use my fingers when it comes to shimmers or sparkly eyeshadows and I feel like you get the best out of your palettes that way. I actually think I'm just going to go in with the darkest one and then I'm going to use the other ones after. So I'm going to use my finger and I'm going to go in with the third colour from the Power Eyes section. So it's a true gold. And I'm going to put this down basically all over my lid. I'm going to leave the inner corner because I'm going to come back and use one of the lighter golds. And also I like to do my eyes together so that I feel like I don't just do one and then I'm like, look, how can I get the other one the same? I don't do them at the same time because then it's a lot easier. Oh dear, there's a little bit of fall down so I'm actually just going to wipe it away and apply some powder underneath my eye which is literally just going to catch the fall down and I can then just wipe this away at the end. And I'm going to bring the shimmer up a little bit higher as well because I want it to be like a bronzy, like all over type of situation. Because I feel like I came out a bit too far over here. Mm. That's fine, you can just kind of work with it. So lightly just blending it in a bit. I'm going to go in with a MAC 224, MAC 224 which has nothing on it, just to go over these edges and blend in up there. I'm just going to go back in with a bit more of my Hoola bronzer, just to deepen up this outer part of the eye, but I kind of just want these two tones, I don't actually want to introduce like new colours because I really like the way they look together and I think they go really well and I don't want to make it more like cool tone bronze or purpley bronze I definitely want to keep it to this like rich brown which is also the same brown that I've used on my cheeks next I'm going to go in with the second colour in the power eyes section so it's this lighter gold and I'm going to keep this just on the inner part of the eyelid, on the top there. Mm. That looks so nice. It is quite subtle though, it's a bit hard getting the true colour out of this one, but I feel like you just have to build it. 
and that actually looks really nice and I like to bring it up a little bit because I feel like it really opens up the eye so not just like close to the actual lash line but also like a little bit up because I feel like it adds so much dimension to the eye and just makes your whole eye look I think really nice so next I'm going to use this uh, brush which is the JH40 and I'm just going to really lightly apply this bronzer to my bottom lash line. I'm just going to go in with that gold one and just add a tiny bit more like on the centre of the eye over here because I feel like it's kind of lacking a bit. Next I'm going to apply a little bit of that gold on my bottom lash line. Just in the centre though, not like all the way along. So I don't really know if you can see it on the camera, but it's really like just opening up the eye a little bit, but it's not too much, it's not like all the way along. And then I'm going to go back in with, I think it was this finger, and the second colour again, which is the lighter gold shimmer tone. And I'm going to apply this just on the inner part of the lower lash line. And I'm having a lot of fall down right now, so I'm really glad that I've got the powder there. So I'm just going to wipe away the fall down. It's as if it was never there. Before I put my lashes on, because I feel like they're a bit big and they can kind of get in the way, I'm going to just clean up the section underneath my eyebrow and I think this little trick, if you do it in a really, really neat and defined way, can make you look so much put together and make your whole eye look come together. I literally love doing this step. So I'm going to use my NARS concealer again and this little synthetic hair brush and this is the Morphe JH41 and I'm just going to really really lightly clean up the section underneath my eyebrow. It's also going to be a really good base for then highlighting my um, brow bone after as well but I just like the step in its own right because I think it just makes the whole eye look look so much better. So I tend to just take it straight from the wand because you don't want to go in with a huge amount of concealer because you do want to make it look really really defined. But I just think it makes the whole eye look so much more neat and tidy. Particularly that like front bit there. If you can see like, I haven't even really like blended it in and stuff and I've just done it really quickly but it just makes the whole look look so much more neat and tidy. I think it makes a massive, massive difference. And it's a step that if I have time to do, I love to do it. Obviously I don't always have time, and it's not like required, <laughs> but I do really like when I get time to do this step. Because it's like you can see your real brow again, underneath those shadows. That literally makes the whole eye look, look so much better in my opinion. If you have the time to do that, I really, really advise it. Next, I'm gonna throw on my lashes and some mascara and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm just gonna wipe away the powder now. And you can see that it, the line isn't super harsh. It has just really cleaned up this section and also this makeup is gonna last like basically all day because I baked there for like 20 minutes and same for my nose um oh I didn't contour my nose oh wait so I'm just gonna really really lightly contour my nose and more than anything else it's it's not really about like trying to make my nose look a certain way it's more just like bringing the warmth to my face that I have around my face and, and on my eyes so I'm going to use my Hoola bronzer again and the same brush it's a bit fluffy but like oh well I used it earlier so I'm just going to lightly, and I mean really, really lightly, draw a tiny bit of a shadow on my nose, but just a very small one. And then going kind of all the way up into the eyebrow up there, and then a little bit at the tip of the nose too. And I'm also going to just put a tiny bit underneath my lip because that's going to make the lips look fuller. 
To highlight my inner corner, I'm going to use the same brush that I use to conceal underneath, well not conceal, but like tidy up underneath my brows, which is the JH41 in case you want to paint a tantione. And I'm going to use my trusted MAC pigment, and in this is in the shade Vanilla. Ideally, if I had more of like a bronzed highlighter, then or like a golden one, then I'd be using that one. But I only have a more whitey one. So I'm just going to highlight the inner corner there. There. And then the brow bone as well. And I like to keep this super, like, toned down. I don't like have a huge beaming eyebrow if you raise your eyebrows as if you're like surprised the highest point of your brow that's where i like to highlight and just like a little bit in that section but that's also why i like to clean up with the concealer because then i don't feel like you really need to go in with loads of highlighter underneath because it's already like cleaned up and differentiated from your eyeshadow next i'm going to highlight my cheek and a little bit on the bit of my nose as well and this is kind of like a Charlotte Tilbury tutorial I just realised but I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury um, this is the Filmstar Bronze and Glow and I'm going to use the highlighter from this which I absolutely love it gives you such a natural but beautiful glow I literally love it and I'm going to use my Morphe M510 which is my favourite for highlighting and it's a bit this shaped because I <laughs> clearly just always go in and stamp on that side so now it's like pressed up. I'm going to be fairly generous with the amount of highlighter because this is a bronzed glowy look. I'm probably going to use some at Fix Plus as well just to like accentuate the um, highlighter. I'm going to put it on a bit of my nose my cupid's bow I'm going to put it just here above the arches of my eyebrows as well then I'm going to spray some Fix Plus and then I'm going to put some more highlighter on and then try and get like something to quickly help it dry and then I'm just going to press a little bit with the brush I use for my powder in the centre there Sometimes I feel like the Fix Plus can like overly make you look a tiny bit shiny. Then I'm going to go in with some more highlighter and that should beam a bit more now that I've got the Fix Plus down. For lips I'm going to go in with my Candy K lip kit. I can't actually find the liner. I'm just going to go straight in with the liquid lipstick. So you have the finished look. This is my summer bronzy glowy look that I'm going to be wearing this summer for sure. Probably when it's a bit more sunny and not when it's like miserable and raining, which it currently is. I hope you like the look. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video.